This is Math 142, and this is uh, question number 21 from the final practice. Now this limit is a little odd. We're trying to find the limit as x goes to infinity. In other words, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what does this thing tend to do? This is asymptotic thinking. This is thinking like an asymptote. Does this thing start to settle down somewhere, or does it grow without bound? Now, there's not much we can do here to try and factor and cancel stuff out, and we couldn't plug in infinity anyways. So let's fall back to some numeric methods and maybe some graphic methods for it. So my equation was uh, 2x squared minus 4. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. Uh, 2x squared minus 4. Close up those parentheses because that's my numerator. Over, and then in parentheses, x squared plus x. And let me think about this table. I'm going to let x grow without bound. So I can't get at it from both sides. I'm just letting x get really big. So let's say x is 100, or x is 1,000, or x is 10,000. Look at that. It looks like it's getting closer and closer to 2. This is, uh, this is a 1 with 6 zeros behind it. 1 times 10 to the 6th. Let me graph. Let me look at the graph of this and see what it does. Oh, look at that. Window. Let's make this uh, negative 5 to 5. And how about negative 3 to 3? Yeah, so look at this. This is here's two right here. And it looks like as x is getting bigger, this thing is getting closer and closer to two. Let me stretch this window out about instead of going just going to five, uh let's have this go out to fifteen. Here's two again. Here's two. Yeah, it looks like there's an asymptote right there at that two. What if this went out to 150? There's two. It sure flattens out at two. It looks like as x tends to infinity, as x grows without bound, this uh, thing settles down to two. So I'm going to say this limit is two. Now there's another way to think about it, and that's this. As x gets really big, and this is, uh, like I said, asymptotic thinking, asymptote thinking. As x gets really big, the x squared terms dwarf the other terms. Like the negative 4 and the x, if we're out at a million, a million squared is so much bigger than 4, negative 4, and so much bigger than just a million that it doesn't matter as much. So as x gets huge, really this thing becomes 2x squared over x squared, which if I divide out those x squared is 2. Now notice it's not 2 exactly, but it's off 2 by 2 by just a little bit, and the bigger x gets the less this matters and matters. So the same way in which you think about horizontal asymptotes on these rational functions is the same way you can do limits as x tends towards infinity or towards negative infinity.